Piri from Analytics India magazine and in today's episode we will be talking to Indipreet Kambo who is an associate principal at Charles Rivers Associate a consulting firm and he recently gave a talk about the role of data and artificial intelligence in pharmaceuticals at a virtual conference plug-in conducted by Analytics India magazine so let's go ahead and talk to him coming to the first question what do you work as or what is it that you do Pritchard saying an associate principal at Charles River Associates and we provide insights for our pharmaceutical clients. Uh, I'm based out of Boston, Massachusetts, um, but we work across geographies for our clients who uh, are based out of different locations. Can you describe the topic that you chose for the talk and the key takeaways from it? So my topic was role of AI and data analytics in pharmaceutics. Um the key takeaway is that do pharma cyclical space is behind the other uh, sectors like finance and retail in terms of ai adoption but we have seen an unprecedented growth in how data and uh, uh, machine learning slash ai is being leveraged across the different aspects of pharmaceuticals what are the biggest trends you see in the current recession scenario so the biggest trend is that we have moved from um, like an in office to a home office uh, aspect so this is more like a forced push as i would like to say um companies firms government regulatory bodies have uh, understood and realized that in person usage is not a critical factor there has there has been a good productivity uh, factor when people are working from home which has also given rise to another aspect that there is a lot of telemedicine and telecommunication over the sky zoom conferences going on um which has led to these burgeoning of these new technologies enabling remote access remote monitoring remote uh, secure messaging um seeing an almost like an unprecedented growth which we could have not uh, predicted and which could have taken years um for us to realize but now with this all this covid things going on i think um, this is i feel blessing in disguise in this aspect again um, to be sensitive not saying this is something good but the benefit or the thing that came good out of it was we have seen another almost like a vertical um, grow out of this uh, challenge moving on is it possible for ai and ml professionals to future proof their skills in order to prepare for any upcoming downturn i would say ai and ml is a space where there's always something new a new use case always been created um there are so many different challenges um that are happening uh, one advice that i would always give to a uh, new data scientists ai ml uh, folks that we always see this data science as a silo we do not understand or we do not pay that much importance to the background to the context to the industry what we have realized over time that data science is a crucial and pivotal step or process but is not the only process in the whole life cycle of data science uh, what i would want to uh, give a lot of emphasis is or uh, is on try to understand the domain where we, we can provide a lot of relevance to what we apply um as in my talk i was mentioning the pharmaceuticals and healthcare space particularly relies a lot on the background information just because of the data nuances whether it's a data capture issue whether it's a inherent bias or uh, something where the patient may be a lot of patient might may have commercial insurance versus government provided insurance like medicare medicaid knowing those nuances will benefit in in ways more than one Also data science is considered to be one of the most sought after skills then why do you think data scientists are getting laid off so it is a crucial um sector uh, or team but uh, right now all the companies are focusing on their core uh, work so uh, for example uh, a retail core strength uh, for retail industry or firm the core strength or core business is selling clothes again yes way to sell it becomes critical but they already have enough information right now to just safeguard their business same for pharmaceuticals their core business is to produce the drugs not to ai and ml to improve um their sales or do pre- predictive models again i'm not downplaying the role that data scientists or data science plays because it's a very very crucial step but i think just as a reactive step or more as a reactionary uh, they are cutting out any non core business which may even impact them in the long run um but um i think that's 
what I can think of, of why there's uh, a lot of layo- lay- uh, layoffs, but it's not restricted only to data science, but any auxiliary and supportive service that you could think of in any industry. How has the pandemic impacted your organization? I won't say it has been impacted. Actually, on the contrary, we have seen a lot of growth uh, just because we work with pharmaceuticals and pharmaceutical uh, companies uh, who are now expanding their processes and there is a lot of growth for, uh, for in the whole healthcare space of gen- overall. Um, and as a result, we see that companies are now pushing for um, more drugs, more um, less in-office use, um, there is also um, like a unsaid rush or unsaid uh, push for getting the approval for the drug. So we're seeing a lot of growth uh, overall in our client base. Coming to the last question, how was your experience at Plugin? I think it was it was a great session. Uh, there were uh, many attendees. I think over thirty or forty attendees who attended uh, my session, and there were many good questions. Uh, just because this. Uh, the, top, the, the topic of the talk was more in pharmaceuticals and healthcare, which is always something to look for. Um, I think it was a very well organized, technically sound. The platform was beautifully curated and not seen a more professional platform than this in other conferences that I've been. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. With that, we come to the end of this conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.